Greetings, my name is Neosekin, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Corpse Party Rebuilt. I just finished my Let's Play of Corpse Party Blood Covered Repeated Fear for 3DS on the Citra emulator, and I decided that I'm going to check out a version of the original Corpse Party PC-98 game, which came out in, uh, what, April, April 1996, I think? And I'm checking out this fan remake of that game, which uh, takes the original uh, Corpse Party game, which was made on the uh, Dante RPG Maker engine, and puts it on RPG Maker Engine XP. So the graphics are going to be updated a bit along with the user up interface, but otherwise I think the story is pretty much exactly the same as the original uh, PC-98 game. Anyway, uh... I'm also go I'm also thinking of checking out uh, Corpse Party Zero after this as well, and after that I will be moving on to Corpse Party Book of Shadows, the next main installment within the canon entries. So yeah, I was just curious to see uh, what the original story of Corpse Party was like before it basically got uh, the remake treatment for Blood Covered on the PC, and then a couple other remakes after that because you, you, you basically got like uh, five th different versions I think yeah five different versions we got the original uh, Corpse Party for uh, the Dante uh, RPG Maker the original PC-98 game we have this game I'm playing right now which is a fan remake of that game Corpse Party uh, Blood Covered which was which started as a mobile game actually before that version was discontinued so Okay, I guess six versions. Scratch that. For being moved on to uh, the PC, which then became the uh, final version of that game. So, version number four of Corpse Party Rebuilt. Then we got the PSP remake of that game. But that game was apparent. But that game was uh, never. Uh, that that game was made during uh, production of the of the story of Corpse Party for the PC. Basically, what I mean by that was, like, the final chapter was still being written when the PSP remake was basically released. So, there's an incomplete story in the PSP version, which is why it went on to the seventh, the seventh, yeah, the sixth, seventh version, whatever. I, why, why can't I keep track of this? But, anyway, the, I went on to basically the latest version of a corpse party in order to get the complete story along with having all the fancy uh, updated graphics and CG artwork and all that on the 3DS which is why I played in my last series. So bottom line there's a lot of different versions of corpse part of the original corpse party. And yeah, it, it's there's quite a lot. And I don't want to repeat myself, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into this. Oh, right. I need to uh, use my keyboard for this one. Let's watch the opening. Please ensure your speakers are turned up. The sound in this game is designed to enhance your experience. Curse Party Original Work. Planning and production. Planning and production. Makoto Kuduin. Kuduin. If I'm butchering these names, I'm sorry. Music. Mao Hama, ha, Hamamoto. Background design. Toyo, Toyotaka Kieda, Kaeda. <clears throat> Character design. Makoto Kuduin. Scenario and graphics. Okay, it's just credits. All, pe all people, organization, and places appearing in this work are fictitious. Any resemblance to actual events or locales or persons, living or dead, is entirely coincidental. Hey, have you heard what happened in this school? That's right. Back when this school was being built. A girl 
no older than us, was hanging around the third floor. When suddenly, crack, she fell, split her head open, and died. Look at her tiny little sprites. Well, this telling your ghost story, telling your ghost stories, are we, eh, Yumi? And after that, do you know what happened to that girl? Um, okay, so Naomi is here. They held a funeral and cremated her? No, no, no. When she cracked open her head and everyone thought she was dead, she jumped up and started repeating more, more, over and over, cackling with laughter. Then she disappeared. Then what? Hello, Yoshiki. She was gone, only leaving behind the top of her head and her blood. So I guess you could call her missing. Missing? You're joking. It was a rainy after school day, just like this. Wait, who was that? Who are you kidding? That was you, wasn't it? What? That wasn't me. Wah! Yeah, what? Who is it? Who was that? Sorry, that was me. Hello, Satoshi. Oh, that ear-piercing scream was produced by Mochida. Can't say I'm surprised. No, I meant to say it was me before. Bit of a coward, huh? Guess they haven't dropped yet. Poor Satoshi. Still getting pick picked on even in the original story. Enough of that. We came here for the school festival, not for ghost stories. Jeez, I can't believe how much we have left to do. It's already past time for us to head home. Yeah. Come on, guys. We want to be here till dawn. <laughs> Figures the two scary cats would team up against me. Shut up and work. Move it, move it. We gotta wrap this up. So it's just you four, then. Seiko isn't here. Mayu isn't here. No sign of Miss Yui. I don't know if so, I don't know if uh, Yuka is gonna show up. Roshigi isn't here. Anybody else I'm forgetting? Think that's everybody? Me and Shinozaki will work on decorating. Satoshi, Kishinuma, would you mind moving the desks back? Yeah, yeah. Man, why did everyone else get to ditch out of this? Why is it just us? Just a fact of life. People suck. Nothing we can do about it. We have to follow the class rep's orders. If it wasn't for her, I'd be at home sleeping in a warm bed. Yeah, yeah. It sucks. No one wants to be here. Let's just do it. Now, now. No use complaining about it. Let's just finish up and go home. Huh? A power outage? How peculiar. A bad timing, huh? Guess we can't do anything now. What about that candle from earlier? I have it around here somewhere. 
Inside one of these desks. It better be the milkman. Who's there? Someone's at the door. If I had to guess, it's either Miss Yui or Yuka, yeah? Because, I mean, this this opening is playing out pretty similar to uh, what I've seen in the original, in the opening for uh, Blood Covered Repeated Fear. So, I'm guessing it's got to be one of those two characters. But then again, what do I know? This could be... This could play out very differently. S Satoshi, you want to get that? M me? Come on, be a man. You sly bastard. Well, we all know yours haven't dropped yet, huh, Yoshiki? Okay, I'm in control. Escape, it brings up the menu. Enter and... Bet and escape are my confirm and back buttons. Satoshi Machoda, seven year Mochida, seven years old. HP thirty and P thirty. You got magic power. Oh sweet! I hope I can launch fireballs. That'd be fun. And very different from how the remakes how the remakes handled things. Change order. So we got a couple um, RPG mechanics in here. Don't see anything for equipment or anything of the sort or anything of the sort. So is combat going to be a factor? That'd be interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and save my game. Oh no 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 no! I don't want to quit. There we go. You sure any of you don't want to go and check that? Don't worry, I'm fine. You got this, man. Mochida, we're counting on you. You got this. Oh, now I'm suddenly Superman. With friends like these, who needs enemies, huh, guys? I'm coming in. Yeah, you're, you look short. The headband tells... Yeah, you're definitely Yuka. I could tell just by your sprite and how short you were compared to Satoshi. If it, had to be, if it was Miss Yui, I figured you'd be around at least the same height, if not maybe a bit taller, just to show that, you know, an adult character has walked in. Anyway, hi, Yuka. Big brother. Huh? Yuka? What are you doing here? You were gone for so long, so I thought I'd come pick you up. And you forgot your umbrella. Here. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry, Yuka. You're such a sharp girl. As a reward, I'll treat you some, to some crepes later. Yay! I knew it! Is she a middle schooler? Yeah, this is Yuka. My younger sister. Good evening. Thank you for taking care of my big brother. She's adorable. Wow. I can't believe I didn't know you had such an adorable little sister. Especially. Okay, so this is different. So, I guess in this, in this uh, continuity, Naomi and uh, Satoshi didn't grow up as childhood friends. That, hence her, hence she in this game not knowing about Yuka prior to this meeting. Okay, that's a little interesting. <laughs> well, she's still in junior high, you know. Hmm. I got it. Why don't I help out? Seriously? If you don't mind, then. All right. The more manpower we got, the faster it will go. Let's move. You really love your ghost stories. How many desks are in this classroom?
could almost we could almost sit like 40 people in here. Holy shit. How the hell would a teacher keep track of them all? Of course, I wouldn't miss out on an opportunity to spook everyone. And that's why we get to hear them over and over, huh? Crap. Look at the time. It's past eight. Hey, we're all done here. Fantastic. That means you can get over here and help us. Help me. Okay, who needs help? Did you call the emergency hotline first? Huh? Another power outage? Wait, did anyone else hear a strange voice? No, I didn't hear a thing. Are you trying to scare us again, Shinozaki? No, I swear I heard something. Wait a sec. You hear that? What is that? Sound like... There it is again. Some kind of drone sound? What's that sound? Sounds like an organ. Maybe it's from the music room, so that's what that is? Hold up, who would be playing music in this school this late at night? No. Should we go check? You might want to put some earmuffs on earplugs in your heads first. It's getting louder. Oh no, I'm not being the guinea pig again. What if it's some bloody headless girl, like from Shinozaki's story? Poor gurgles. But, aren't you curious? Let's check. Suit yourself. Oh, and uh, in case you don't know who I'm, re guys know who I'm referencing with the name Gurgles. Well, there is a. I don't think this really is a spoiler for uh, the uh, Corpse Party game that I just played, but there's basically a ghost child that runs around that game who only has her lower jaw intact. The rest of her head's pretty much gone, and the nickname Gurgles comes from a nickname that. Uh, the Exceed forums, I think, basically uh, came up for her. It was so bad. I thought it was so bad that it just circled right into being hilarious. So I'm now taking to calling her Gurgles. I don't know if I should be sorry, but I, I don't think I'm going to be. I don't want to go alone. Oh, forget it. I'm going after her. Come on, everyone. There's always strength in numbers. Mocha, bring Yuka along. Hmm. So, I guess we're not going to perform the charm or have Miss Yui show up or anything like that. Okay, come along, Yuka. Big brother. Come on, man. Come on, Yuka. It definitely sounds like it's coming from the music room. It gives me the creeps. Let's get moving. Yeah. Well, that went... That escalated quickly. Kya! What's going on? 
Yeah! Satoshi! Everyone! Yeah! Big Brother! But I didn't even perform a charm. Ugh. Wow, wow. What the? What happened? Yuka? Naomi? Yoshiki? Shinzaki? Someone? Answer me! Damn. Gotta be a light or something somewhere. Oh yeah, that candle earlier. When did you grab that? Huh? This is a classroom, but... Hmm? Heavenly host, I assume? What's with this desk? Certainly a lot more brown than the 3DS version, that's for sure. Just what's going on here? I see... Naomi! It's you, right? Looks like she's unconscious, so... Inner wing, first floor. I swear, it's it, maybe it's the smaller character sprites, but it just feels like as though everything is huge. Room side, yeah, everything just feels bigger in this compared to the 3DS version. Hey, Naomi, hang in there. Hmm? Huh? Where are we? Who knows? I can't make heads or tails of what's going on. What? Hold on. Where are we? What's going on? I'd love to answer that. I'd love to answer to that as well. Hey there, Yuka. Yuka, are you okay? So, Naomi, Satoshi, and Yuka are all here. So I assume that, er that Yoshiki and Ayumi are somewhere inside the, the building. And that we're not dealing with uh, multiple dimensions or something like, or anything of that sort. Hey now, dry those tears. Everything's going to be okay. Alright. Yep. That pretty much confirms it. Found him. Yo, you guys doing okay? Yeah, we're fine. Thank God, the gang's all here. Yeah, but... <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I think she's just a bit scared. So, we have the entire group here from the get-go. So, what's going to happen? Is something going to occur that will cause everybody to have the brilliant idea to just split the gang up here and to cover more ground or something like that? Because that would be a very dumbass decision, if you ask me. No good. It's too dark to see outside the window. Outside the window's jarred, and the window's jarred shut. Excuse me. I'm trying to read that for a sec. What? That makes no sense. Damn it. Uh, Yuka. Something seems to be written over here. There. Mind reading it? It looks like a newspaper. Oh. What's it say? It stated... September 24th, 1926. Oh, we're going early. What? 
Where are we? No. This is all wrong. Someone save me! It's okay, Ayumi. We're all here for you. Yeah. Thanks. I know a minute I know a couple minutes isn't much to go on, but so far I like the fact that Yuka is holding it together better than well, her uh, main her main canon counterpart is. Because I mean, losing your shit in situations like these is generally not good for anybody, least of all you. I mean, there's a time to be I mean, there's a time to for in place for that here, but I mean, you you should at least try to gauge just what kind of danger you're in, if any, first, before you truly start freaking out. You know what I'm saying? That's right. We gotta find an exit. Then we'll be able to go home and sleep in our own beds. What the hell makes you so damn sure? Well, would you rather stand around here and stare at your shoes? Well, if they're nice shoes, then maybe I would. Right. Let's search for an exit. How? We'll just come to school inch by inch. A window, a door, something has to give. Absolutely. I agree. How about everyone else? I'm with Mochida. Me too. Well, for searching from top to bottom, we may want to split into two groups. Told ya! Told ya this would happen. They're going to just split up and cover more ground just for the hell of it. We should check up on each other every so often and update with any new details. It's not a bad idea. What do you guys think? You know, the background music reminds me of Chapter 5's first... Uh, first uh, background theme when I start playing it proper. Split up? I'm not so sure. Yeah, I agree. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll all be back so soon. Sure, we'll be fine. Sure. Are you really frightened, Miss Scary Story Lover? Get a hold of yourself. How do you think I feel? Scary stories and scary situations are entirely different concepts. Back to the matter at hand. There's five of us, so I guess we gotta have a group of three and two. Would you like to view the character bios? Why not? Touch the character to read their bio. When you are done, please touch the bottom right desk. Satoshi Mo Mochida, 17 years old. A second year student in Kisaragi Academy Senior High. Satoshi is a bit timid and, and some would say a coward, but he would do anything for his younger sister. He's reliable in a pinch. In fact, he's the protagonist of this game. He and Naomi have a bit of a power struggle. So, you're actually going to be our protagonist, huh? Yoshiki Kishinuma, 17 years old. Although he seems a bit cynical and rebellious, in actuality, he's just frank and honest. Which is why he didn't fight it too much when he was put onto the class committee via ballot. And also why he showed up to prepare for the coming school cultural, cultural festival. So you're on the school community committee in this version. Definitely a far cry from your uh, more delinquent upbringing. Ayumi Shinzaki, 17 years old. The class representative who loves to scare people. She loves to tell ghost stories and it's rumored that that's why she carries around a bunch of candles. In actuality, she tells more story she tells those stories to hide her own fear. In other words, your character is essentially exactly the same as Blood Covered. Naomi Nakashima, 16 years old. 
Ever since junior high, she and Satoshi have had a tense relationship. So you know, so you know Satoshi since junior high, and you never knew until now that he had a sister. Hmm. She's always greet. She always greets him. Greet him with, "I'm so sick of you." If the relationship is so tense, why have it? Yuka Mochida, 14 years old. Satoshi's younger sister, currently a second year student at Kisaragi Academy Junior High School. She got mixed up in all of this while delivering an umbrella to her brother. Spoiled by her family, she acts much younger than she really is. In other words, your character is more or less exactly the same, too, going by this bio. So... Does that also mean I'm going to have to find a working toilet for you at some point? That would suck. Alright, I think that's everything, so let's just get out of here. So, how should we split this? I'm fine as long as I'm with my big brother. Take care of Shinazaki. I'm a bit worried about her. Eh? Sure. Alright, are we ready to go? Just the two of us. Will we be safe? Don't worry about it. Alright, meet back here in 30 minutes. Don't do anything reckless. Same goes for you. Same goes for you. You got two lovely ladies following you. Thanks. See you in 30 minutes. So, what are you, what are you gonna say, Hayumi? Mochida. Yes, that is his name. What's, what's this here? There's a loose board on the floor. Yeah, let's take it. I thought that was like some kind of entrance way or something. Still, lucky me. So I guess that there's gonna be, uh... Some kind of pathway I can create with this thing. Probably up top, if I had to guess. Wait, what about down here? The brother. Here. Huh? What's this? my good luck charm. Please, take it. Huh? Sorry, but you keep it. I can't take something so valuable from you. Yuka, are you crying? <laughs> hey, brother, you're so thick-headed sometimes. On the download page for this thing, I do know that there are six endings total to this game. Five bad end, five bad ends, and one one true end. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do what I did with Corpse Party Blood Covered Repaid Fear and just work my way towards getting all the all the uh, ending, different endings. Basically, do a hundred percent run on this thing. So, all throughout, I'm going to uh, intentionally make decisions that I know will not bode with me. Will not, will not bode with me while well, I mean, excuse me. So, what I will do is say no. Instead of yes. Thanks, Yuka, but I can't take it. Feelings are enough. Step count. 
I have no idea if that's important in any way or not, but hopefully uh, it isn't. And it's just there. I think we'll be able to cross somehow, but it's so narrow. Hey, how about that board we picked up earlier? Would that work? Ah, I get it. There we go. The window won't budge. It's jarred shut. Oops. Alright, get back there. There we go. Covered in the far left corner over there. Maybe I need another board in order to reach it. Assuming that I can even interact with that thing. It's not just background items. I couldn't. S Hold on. Go back out. I don't see anything. Hey, is that a bucket? An old bucket filled with yellow liquid. Lovely. So the bucket's here too. Full of worn out textbooks and encyclopedias. Forbidden door. This door has a lock on it. I can't find any way to open it. Hmm. It's gotta be a key. Class 2 3. Hmm. I see some remains over there. Now, my question is, do I have to deal with uh, different varieties of ghosts, like friendlies and unfriendlies, or are they all just indistinguishable? What is this? Kya! It's bones. Uh, humans. No! Big brother, I'm scared. Who's there? You? You all were dragged here against your will, weren't you? The skeleton is talking. Do you all understand where you are? Select an option. Can... What the hell? Can you tell us? Can you tell us? To be honest, the where is irrelevant. It is hardly even worth asking. You wouldn't understand anyways. Try me. Because you are no longer within your own world. What do you mean? This is a world of hatred and malice composed by the residual thoughts of vengeful spirits. It leaks out and creates closed spaces. The one you are trapped in dates over 40 years back. Naturally, there is no way out. Be glad you are not alone. Stick together. That way at least you can be with your friends in the end. Why did we have to be dragged down here? This ghost has a particularly strong bond to the real world. 
She calls anyone and everyone down here, even those unrelated to her death. Why the hell would she... I do not know. I don't even know how to escape my own plight. However, don't give up. There has to be something you can do. Something to break free from this trap. Try not to end up like me. So you can, Okay, you tell me to just give up here and just simply stick together so I'm not alone in the end. And then literally next paragraph or two, you tell me to not give up and just try to do, uh, do everything I can to find a way out. Consistency, please. Big brother, can't, we can't go home. But we can go home, right? It's all a lie, right? Right? Big brother? Listen to me, big brother. Hey. 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 Come on, tell me. Tell me we can go back home. Hmm. Yeah. Let's just say shut up. Shut up! You think I know? Just shut the hell up! Big brother turned into a big meanie! Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna read her cries. Cut that out. She can't help it. Poor thing must be scared out of her skin. Naomi. There, we're there. It'll all be okay. Come on, Satoshi. There's no reason to stand around here. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I'll change it. I think I'm kind of thinking about changing my mind and just playing the game as I normally would and just go with whatever decision I think will produce the best results for me. And I could just simply create uh, different safe, safe slots here if I want to go back and try something different. A bunch of old books, which have become yellow with age, are tightly packed in the bookcase. It's here. It's, what, it's what's behind you real. What's behind you really real? But what's behind me? It looks like it was shredded with sharp nails. It's impossible to read. Anyway, uh, that ghost mentioned a she. She brings people into this close space, even those unrelated to her death. So. Yeah, if you don't want any possible spoilers for uh, Corpse Party Blood Covered or its uh, PSP or uh, 3DS remake, I would suggest uh, just stopping the video here and just check check or read about those games first. Because I'm going to be con I'm kind of like how I have been from the start of this video. I've been kind of comparing this version of the game and its story to uh, those two of Blood Covered. So, I'm going to undoubtedly mention very big spoilers here and there. So, if you want to save yourself the trouble, just leave now. Still here? Okay, watch at your own risk. Anyway, the, the she that uh, the ghost mentioned, I'm wondering if it's Sachiko. If she's one, if she's basically still bringing people into the school. And then... So I guess we're switching to them now. So those little pangram things function similar to Chapter 5 and Blood Covered then. Well, we better get moving. Yeah. What the? 
Yeah! What the hell? Well, that's definitely new. The architecture changing right before our... Actually, no, never mind. I did that a bit even in blood covered. Hmm. What's this way? Don't run in the halls. Mind your P P's and Q's. Make sure your mind and uniform are in order. Don't run in the hells. Don't bleed. Splash of blood is stuck to the window. Sachiko, is that you? That wasn't there a second ago, right? There was a hole here. It is gone now. I wonder if some of you will get the reference. Oh boy. That thing in the upper left corner. It's the end. I know exactly what that is. It's packed full of wood medical books. This chart. It has vividly drawn entrails. They look like they're dripping. Sprawled on it. You must be careful when dissecting. First expose the subject to copious amounts of salt water until the subject swells. Then perform the incision. If you wish to continue the operation at a time, apply more salt to the incision. If the subject becomes noisy or screams, jam cloths into their mouth. Still providing some very gruesome uh, dissection lessons, are, are we, Heavenly Host? Huh? No shit. It moved. That anim... That anemonical... Uh, Excuse me. That anatomical model. Was it there earlier? Oh shit. Yeah. Run! If it catches you, you're dead! Escape the science lock that mentioned the anatomical model. You're said and done! How the hell am I supposed to do that? Oh. Okay, you're fast. Let's take it. This is probably gonna get me killed, but go. Oh fuck! I knew this was a bad idea, but I went for it anyway. Although in my defense, I am intentionally going through, I am intentionally part of the way through going through wrong ends anyway, so. Don't be too harsh. No! Stay away! Stop! No! Come on. You asshole! Let her go! Taking some damage, keep it on your HP. Can I, uh, just... Damn it! There's no way I can reach her. Okay, so... Ten points. You asshole! I said let her go! Come on. That's enough! That's enough, Kinshuma. Run! Shut up! Run! Please run! Run away! Stop saying that! I'm... I'm gonna save you! Bring it! I'm gonna smash that smug face of yours in! 
Run, Kishinuma. Check your HP. Oh, what? No ending? Oh, shit. I'm gonna check this way first before I go back to the science lab. Stay away from the science lab. Sure. Ah, yeah. What the hell is that? You think I know? Ladies first. What do you mean by that? It really is a human corpse, isn't it? Does it look like a cat or dog's carcass to you? Why not keep it, why not keep your dumbass comments to yourself? Huh? There's something written on the floor. Don't look at the poster. The message was written by human nails being scratched forcefully onto the floor into the floor. Looks like I'm trapped. You can never leave. The window won't budge, it's shard shut. Well, shit. This is like that one room in chapter one of Blood Covered. With the newspaper and stuff. But I'm assuming here that unlike that game, this is going to play out exactly as it says it's going to, and I'm going to be stuck here eternally. The hell? Where's the opening? Why are you asking me? There are gashes all over the wall. Is someone trying to claw their way out? There are deep gashes made by human nails all over the wall. Trapped? It would seem that way. Examining everything and just check the poster constantly. Don't tell me we're trapped. What should we do? Shut up. I'm thinking, damn it. We're trapped. I don't know what. Don't worry. I'm not letting us die in this pigsty. But it's hopeless. We already tried everything. We're gonna turn to two more skeletons trapped in this room. All because we had to split up. If everyone else was here, we might be able to do something. Why did this happen? Didn't I tell you to shut up? Are you so unhappy? So unhappy to be trapped with me instead of your precious Satoshi? Yes! Why? 
Why am I trapped with someone like you? And then... What's this? By touching the pentagram, you can switch to the other party. Well, I don't think there's really anything I can do with them right now, so I'm just gonna... Keep on playing. Whoa. Did I just... Yeah, I hurt myself. What's up? The green bile here absorbs the living air. thought that there might be, like, I don't know, some of the tiles won't hurt you if you walked over them in a specific order, but, I don't know. I think I'll need to do something else here before I can cross that place. Huh? Did the writing on that poster just change? The shine of the crystal will liberate the victim's body. What crystal? Place is wrecked. Loose board that was placed here earlier is broken off. Take it. Yeah, let's do that. Now, let's see if I can find a spot to put this board in. posters and search the bookcases if you want to leave. In other words, just be observant. That could that'll be easy for me. The hard for me to 
examined up at that poster right there, with all the green sludge. The green bile here absorbs. Okay. Do I really want to do this? I should try to find a way to. There's way there's a way for me to restore my health, because that would suck if not. Hey, there's something shiny in there. Various children's drawings adorn the cabinet. A devil in white is stabbing an angel in black repeatedly. What? School newspaper. Month X month, 24th day. Today, class two dines. Key. Get a dictionary. It's filled with dangerous looking broken glass. An old key is, atop, is on top of the shelf. Well, how about that? We found the forbidden key. Anyway, I see two pentagrams here, so... Let's see what happens if I switch back to these guys real fast. Looking closely, it seems like a few bones have been dragged away from the rest. Likely a bunch of mice or something ate some of the corpse when it was fresh. Hmm. Pretty much nothing, then. Anyway, we got this key now, so let's just go on ahead and... Lock that door, shall we? is not the only truth. You must take a leap of faith. Let me guess, an invisible walkway? and grab it. There we go. Acquired five pairs of blessed shoes. Blessed shoes only affects the party holding them. Please keep that in mind. Oh, wait. I can use this to probably walk on that green sludge without issue then, huh? Sweet. And I guess it's back to the green sludge we go. Let's test this out. 
We are golden, ladies and gentlemen. This is the infirmary. It's stuffed full with medical books. Various medical drugs are lined up inside, but they're all so old the labels have become oxidized and are in indeterminable. On the wall is a chart of the human anatomy. Looking closely, it seems like the organs are painted red with real blood. Another similarity to blood covered. Inside the drawer is a small crystal. Let's take it. Find a crystal cluster. So, what is this thing? The crystal seems to emit a strange light. Hey, big brother. I'm so sleepy. Are you okay? Satoshi, I th think we should take a rest? Well, I'm already on the path to a wrong end, so I might as well just go all the way through. Sorry, it's too dangerous. Sorry, but it's too dangerous here. Let's not. Come on, Yuka, hang in there. Hmm. <laughs> Big Brother hates me. Well, after the absolute nightmare of finding work in a toilet that you had put me through and blood covered. I think this is a little bit of comeuppance for that, so... Okay, I think we've confirmed another thing. We gotta deal with people's spirits. What the hell is that? Yeah! Yeah! Stay away! No. Crystal Cluster suddenly shatters. But what? Oh, I see. I need the crystal thing here to get rid of that guy. I don't see anything I can interact with, so... I guess I gotta backtrack yet again somewhere. Question is, where? Yo! Shinazaki! What? The wall! It opened! Really? Yeah, come on, move it! Wow, lucky us! Doesn't matter if you leave, you're trapped in school. Go crazy and die! No, you. this thing. Wasn't there a second ago, right? I wonder if I... Yeah, let's... save again. So we're going to do this again. Okay, so we're at full HP, so... Maybe 
catches us, then we might be able to fight it off. Maybe. Oh shit! Damn it. You asshole, let her go! HP. Hey, come on. Let's go. So just leave. Let's try that again. There's gotta be a way I can get you out of there. No, I bet this is why you're all alone here, and you don't have any friends. You just constantly get in everybody's way. Why did I even bother? There really is nothing I can do, is there? Why don't I try leading it out of the classroom? Oh, come on! I guess it's blocked off. go about this. Maybe I need, like, another item or something I would need to fight this thing off? Try it one more time. I didn't even get to the board. Damn it. I'm gonna have to leave you behind, aren't I? 
I've tried everything my power and all in to save you, and yet all it does is just get me killed in the end. So, sorry, Ayumi. Yeah! Save me! No! Wait! Kishinuma! Help! You are dead. God damn it! What the hell? What have I done? Damn, 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 god damn it all to hell! You fucked up. Oh, you even moved her. Hey, who me? Give me. Please. Forgive me. Forgive me! Well, you're probably, if you somehow survive this, you're probably going to be dealing with some PTS, some uh, post-traumatic stress from all this shit. If you die here, the pain of your death will continue for eternity. No matter how, how it hurts, no matter how you bear it, no matter how much you cry out, there is no escape from that pain. You cannot truly die down. Cooperation escape is impossible. Find the ten letters. Ten letters? What the hell? Huh? Saying I thought I was back in Kisaragi Academy. Why can't I? What's going on? Why can't I get back there? Seems someone had dropped a small scrap of paper. The handwriting doesn't appear feminine. Letter one. By the basement, there is an incinerator. There is. So what should we do? Burn something. Letter number two. On the wall next to the post. Hey! Yoshiki! Satoshi! My god! Wait, Kishinuma? Where's Shinozaki? Yoshiki? I... I couldn't save her. I couldn't do a damn thing to help her! I ran away! I ran away like a goddamn coward! Ugh! Don't tell me. She's... dead? Ayumi... Oh, yeah, Yoshiki, I have something to give you. For me? <laughs> well, that was a sudden mood whiplash. I'm sorry, our, one of our friends is, d is dead and everything. Oh, no. Hey, I just remembered. I got something to give you. Here. Just... Jarring, honestly. They're shoes. When you wear them, the green ooze no longer harms you. What you mean? The ooze drains human flesh. Uh, he train human. Excuse me. The ooze drains humans of their life. But these shoes prevent that. Sweet. Thanks, Satoshi. With Satoshi's group divided, divided the. Sorry, Satoshi's group divided flesh shoes. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut 
the episode off here. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this uh, this episode of Corpse Party Rebuilt. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I guess we can continue trying to find a way out of here in the next, in the next episode. So take care, guys.